Let's have some fun now with the more visual effects that can be made to an already created design or one that you create. Textured edge can be applied to fills as well as outlines and will add a rough edge to the objects. It is used in many designs to create shading effects over fills. It can be also used to imitate fur. The selections can be made either before or after digitizing. You can also edit an existing design by adding textured edge. If I select an object and click on the textured edge icon, the default effects will be added and you can see how it is roughened this one edge. If I want to adjust these, I want to open the effects menu. If I right click on textured edge, that will open up the effects menu. You can see that there is a check mark by textured edge. If I uncheck this and click on apply, you can see that the textured edge goes away. So I'm going to check the textured edge and then you'll notice that there are three different ways that texture can be added. It can be added to one side or the other or both sides. So you can choose which edge it's going to be added to. And notice the statement in the dialog box that side one and two refer to an object side as seen by Bernina Embroidery software. It doesn't mean left or right. It depends on the stitch angle. So I'm going to leave it at this one on side two. You can also change the texture to be a smoother texture or a rougher texture, and you can also change the span. When you click on apply, the texture will be added to the side of the object. Next, I'll select the satin outline, and in this case, I'll place a check mark by textured edge. That has to be checked. And then I'm going to apply it to both sides. And let's choose a wide span and apply that. So you can see what kind of effect is made. If I choose OK, of course, that will close the dialog box. So I hope you have some fun with Textured Edge.